what is up beam team it is your boy king beam and welcome back to king beams 25 days of christmas it is day two glad you're here watching the video let me know in the comments what y'all think about the lights because yesterday when i was recording you know i had it just like on the white light but then i was like yo let me like get it a little bit more christmasy so you don't have like some like green and like red ambience in the background you feel me so like let me let me let me know what y'all feeling like about these lights but anyway welcome back to day two today we're going to be talking about this movie that i just watched it's called spirited and it's basically a uh, christmas carol but with ryan reynolds and you know i i was looking i looked up christmas movies on letterboxd right and i was looking for some movies to watch and i saw ryan reynolds was in like a christmas movie with will ferrell so i was like yeah i gotta watch it and i'm not gonna lie as as it began i didn't i thought it was gonna be like you know one of those like mid-tier you know run the mill we put out a christmas movie christmas movies that come out every year but this was surprisingly good and it was really funny and um the basic premise of the movie was that i mean you know how the story goes with um scrooge right you know scrooge he's a bad guy and he's selfish and he doesn't want his employees to take the day off on christmas and he doesn't care about christmas at all and he's just a really grumpy human being right so then the ghost of christmas past and christmas present and christmas future they come and visit him and they show him that you know if he doesn't change his stingy evil non-christmas spirit having ways he's gonna die alone and no one's gonna love him ever in his life and so then he decides when he wakes up in the morning that he's a changed man and he's going to you know be a jolly old fellow and you know christmas spirit and such you know what i'm saying so basically this movie flips it all and like tells us that all of that this is like a theatrical production that is done every year there's a team of spirits you know other people die they come and they're like on this team and you know there's a ghost of christmas past actor and a ghost of christmas present present actor and a ghost of christmas future actor and they all come together and they train for the entire year they do research on one person every single year and on christmas eve they go out and they make sure that that one person becomes a better person that day right so that's like their whole job you know after they die they become spirits blah blah blah, blah right anyway will ferrell is the ghost of christmas present and so you know apparently he's been the ghost of christmas present for a while and they're like yo dude you should like yo like like retire and whatnot he's like nah i gotta make like a real difference in the world hence ryan reynolds ryan reynolds is a bad guy and this is where i really like enjoyed the story where it went because they could have just you know gone with the hey will ferrell ryan reynolds you know make it funny ghost of christmas present past scrooge make it funny and whatnot but no they flip it on its tail because so basically ryan reynolds is, is this thing called an unredeemable right he's an unredeemable evil person you can't change him he's going to be a bad person forever because he's unredeemable right but will ferrell's like nah we can redeem him and so then when they go and do the whole you know visit the 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 ghost shenanigans since he already knows the story of scrooge he's kind of like expecting this and he's playing around with the ghost and he's interfering with what's going on and he's actively trying not to change he's actively resisting the ghosts you know be good message and whatnot because you know like when scrooge he gets visited he's like oh my gosh oh ah, like oh i guess i should be a good person now but nah ryan reynolds was like okay i don't care right and so then um <clears throat> it, it it gets revealed right it gets revealed that will ferrell was scrooge will ferrell was scrooge in his lifetime and he was the only ever other unredeemable person and he thinks that if he can change an unredeemable again he can like make the world a better place and everything like even better than it could be if 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 like you know yeah yeah you feel me so like we're going throughout this movie and um and all throughout ryan reynolds like we can we can tell that he's um it's 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 working a little bit just just a tiny bit just a little tiny bit it's kind of working but it's really not but when it really started to work was um you know his his little niece was running for her class president and he had, like dug up dirt on this eighth grade kid who like posted something on instagram when he was in sixth grade and they were like yo post that niece and you can win because now you got dirt on him and then he saw in the future little eighth grader kill himself i don't know if i can say that on youtube he you know committed unalive because of what she had said to him 
or posted about him, you know, re revealed about him, right? And so then he goes back, he stops her from doing it, blah, blah, blah. He becomes a better person. But the minute he actually actually becomes a better person because like, okay, oh, I skipped a lot of details, but it really doesn't matter. Anyway, real Pharaoh, he decided to become a human again because he was in love with, 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 with Ryan Reynolds's secretary assistant lady, right? And uh, I forget what the actress name is, but they fall in love and whatnot. So he's a human now and he was about to get run over by a car. And so Ryan Reynolds, like pushes Will Ferrell out the way, hits, get, gets hit by the car by, yeah, he, he gets hit in the, he gets hit by the car instead of Will Ferrell's character, right? And so they like paused the moment when he did it. The like, the, the, the theatrical production, they were like, oh my gosh, you're a good person now. Wow, let's have a celebration. But then, boom, it unpaused and he gets hit by the car. And he's like, no, I I, 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 I became a better person. Why why am I dead? I became a better person. But then, dude, who's like head of the operations, like, yo, 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 you, you, you can't become a better person without sacrificing the old man of who you were. And so then, at the end, Ryan Reynolds becomes the new ghost of Christmas Present since Will Ferrell's gone. And then they start, like, you know, doing a whole... We're, 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 we're healing multiple people a year. It's not it's no longer a one time thing. We're going to change multiple people's lives throughout the year so that we can make the whole world a better place. And I thought that that was a really cool, you know, message, wholesome moment. But what I really liked was that this whole thing was like a musical, but it was like a meta musical because the people that were singing were aware that they were singing. Right. And so like they would hear the music start to like wind up and, you know, People will be like, oh my gosh, are you about to sing? Please don't sing. I don't want you to sing. This isn't a musical, but it is a musical. And I don't know. It was funny to me. I thought that was funny. You know what I'm saying? And let me just say, I think the real actors were singing when they were singing these songs. They really slid. I didn't know Ryan Reynolds could sing like that. I, I knew I knew Will Ferrell had some pipes, but I know I know Ryan Reynolds could sing like that. I wasn't familiar with your game. I'm sorry. The whole cast was singing the end song. They sing a song at the end, you know, like, you know, like, oh, I forget what it's called, but you know, how you, la you have an overture in a musical and then like the last song, I don't know what it's called, but like the, 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 um, the finale, you know, the finale went absolutely dummy. I, I enjoyed it a lot. Also, there's this really funny moment where real Farrell, he like, he, he's like, he comes back, he's back like actual human by this point in time in the movie. And he's like at this Christmas party and this dude is wearing an elf costume and then will ferrell looks at him and he's like what are you wearing that looks so stupid you know because get it because like will ferrell was elf and he wore that costume and he's calling the costume stupid because like <laughs> you know just little little meta commentary you feel me but um yeah i really enjoyed this movie and i think it's really wholesome um like i was i was saying yesterday in the uh top 10 christmas movie video i just really love the wholesome Christmas movies and I feel like this one it has a lot to learn like you know a lot a lot of the Christmas movies try to like hide like you know oh be a better person messages you know Christmas time or whatnot but I feel like this one was a really good like way to do it if it makes sense because they didn't have to go all out and show that you know Ryan Reynolds was actually resistant to change he didn't want to be a better person because he was making the argument that you know, Scrooge became a better person overnight, but being a better person doesn't just happen overnight. You have to put in the work and try to be a better person each day until you're the best version of yourself. You can't just wake up and be a better person in the morning. And I feel like that's real, you know, because in life we can't just walk around and oh my gosh, I'm a new man. You know what I'm saying? You got to like put in the work to become the person who you want to be. You feel me? But like, yeah, I feel like this movie did a really good job of putting the message in the movie and, uh, yeah, the musical numbers were excellent. The acting was surprisingly not mid and cringe for a Christmas film. And Ryan Reynolds, I mean, what, what, what do you expect? Ryan Reynolds and Will Ferrell in the same movie. What else do you expect? Um, I'd give this a solid, mm, solid 7 out of 10. Solid 7 out of 10. Would recommend watch it with your family. If you're still here watching the video, thank you for tuning in to day two. It's going to be a struggle to upload 25 days in a row. So please, if you would, you know, drop a little like on the video, subscribe if you feel so compelled to do so. Join the BM team. But yeah, um, thank you for watching this video. If you've seen it, you know, let me know down in the comment section below what you thought. Or we can just talk about Christmas in the comments. Just like talk to me in the comments because I read all the comments because I love y'all. You feel me? But yeah, thanks for tuning into the video. I love you. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Have a great day. Peace out.